I'll trigger. Nice. That was me that did that. Tackle from behind. Oh, look at that, dude. Look at that. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Showdown Fabinho card to review. We just checked out the Rodrigo card, so be sure to go do that. But guys, with Fabinho, this is going to be basically a CDM review, right? So it's basically just seeing what he's like on the pitch defending for us for the most part. Uh, with Fabinho, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot two, medium high work rates, right footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. In-game player traits, he has the dives into tackles trait. In-game traits with long passer as well. Attributes. Oh, this SBC is like already a W to get as of right now. Both Rodrigo and Fabinho look like W SBCs to get right now. But with the improvement could be disgusting. Because this card, guys, on a shadow chemistry style is going to have 99 acceleration at a 97 sprint speed. While already working with a medium high work rate. With fantastic dribbling capabilities because... Here's the thing about Fabinho, right? Fabinho has a pretty big body type, right? As far as I remember. It's a unique body type, but it's very, like, like big, you know? I, I remember reviewing his uh, his striker card this year. It was this one right here. I don't know if you guys remember this, but he was actually a pretty decent physical type striker if you ever actually wanted to use that. But obviously, with this card, we needed a CDM version of him with the medium-high work rates, but... Everything is bouncing off the card really nicely so far with the unique body type, the six foot two heights, the dribbling stats being there. So that's already a W right there, right? Shooting on the card, also very good considering the fact that he has a 90 for shot power, right? 90 for shot power with an 82 for finishing, 88 for attacking positioning. All of that stuff is very good. With the passing on the card with the four star weak foot, that's fantastic as well for a midfielder. Guys, a card like this, if you're using this in a 4-4-2 or a 3-5-2, it doesn't really matter because it's a card that is capable of doing both, but he's just going to be more defensive oriented. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of it's going to be that type of vibe with him for sure. Uh, defensive stats also going to be in a fantastic area. The hopes and the dreams when it comes to an upgrade on a card like this is being able to give him an anchor chemistry style in the future with a plus three, plus four for both the acceleration and sprint speed. That's the hopes and dreams because right now on a shadow, he looks like a monster, but it's the anchor chemistry style that you want to look forward to when it comes to the card in the future. But yeah, generally speaking, this card looks really good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. We are going to be using uh, Japes' 3412 from back in the day. Still pretty good nowadays, just a little bit vulnerable in the defense, but it's always super fun to play with. Uh, we're going to be using Fabinho in the stay back while attacking stay on the edge of the box for cross instruction. And uh, we'll see what kind of situations we get ourselves into with him. I might switch that 3-5-2 as well, but I just want to see what he's like on this 3-4-1-2 uh, first. Oh, I overcommitted him like crazy and his track back was nice. Super fast there. Look at that. You see that? That's really good. Cover that there. There we go. Pass it off. Oh, wow. If I put a little bit more power into that, I score that. That's actually pretty sick. Is this him on the edge here, too? Oh, it is. Oh, that stop is nice. Very strong. It's not like super agile, but that's good because that means that his challenges into the uh, into the uh, attackers should be solid. Like that, see? That was good. Nice pass with the weak foot there. To be fair, guys, he feels really responsive for a player that's mainly going to be playing as your CDM. That's actually solid. Go for a ground switch here. Nicely done. The fact that he has that four-star weak foot is very helpful, guys. You guys have no idea. Look, so that's him out of position. And look how fast he tracks back again. See that? Very important, man. It's actually really helpful to have that in the three-back formation. That's really good. Those are the moments I you could see that I'm forcibly like forcibly taking players out of their position to see how he reacts to it. And that was just amazing. That's what you want him to do there. I actually did press a command there, but he didn't do anything. That's not really his fault. That was just a weird registration thing. 
track back there is really good again. The positioning and uh, like the position that he's putting himself in in the midfield is exactly where I want him to be as a medium high work rate player. Nice. But you see, like before I was even using him, the track back to the edge of the 18 was really good. Oh, he actually got that through. Nice. Look at his positioning again, dude. I'm telling you. Okay, lol. He jumps over my challenge. We get the ball. Nice. Oh, it goes in with a weak foot there, too. Strong challenge. First time pass. Beautiful. Beauty. Nicely done. I just want you guys to see the AI stuff, right? I'm going to switch them here. I'm going to block this. Switch now. Goes in for the challenge there, but I didn't I didn't actually do a tackle or anything like that. He just tries to block the general area as much as possible. Weak foot pass, always nice. I don't know if that touched me, actually. Did I slow it down there, maybe? See, he missed the initial challenge there, but his track back again was brilliant. To go for the switcher or the weak foot. Nice. Almost. I like the way he was involved in the play there. That was great. Looks so out of position. Got Silva back. Lucas Moore has already tracked back, so he's kind of like replaced his position there. With the strong foot. Nice pass. No! That's like a typical FIFA challenge, by the way, so I don't really blame the players for those. Nice, good job. Pass it off, there we go. Catches it, let's go. Stuff. I just have to see where he's positioned, right? He just has to be in that general area for me to be able to switch to him and then get the uh, the opposition on the attack there. Ah, oh, almost. But the track back is good enough, though. That's good. So I'm saying, like, if he does screw up, he's back. Like, he's good to go. Look, see, look, look at his tracking. See that? Back in the 18. I'm gonna block this here. Can we go for a slide challenge? We're super far out, but I think I should be good here. Yeah. Youngman son with the left stick. I'll trigger. Nice. That was me that did that. Tackle from behind. Oh, look at that, dude. Look at that. Dude, Veron, like this flashback Veron is so endgame. It's disgusting. I'll trigger. Oh, goes for an animation. But Holland getting in behind. That's what he's really good at doing, by the way. He's very good at doing that. When we did his review, I was mentioning like, yo, he's he's got his running animation to get those going, you know? Like that. We're good. Little shield. We're good. Oh. Nice, Fabinho again. AI, he did that. Nice. Nice dribbling. I, I like I like his dribbling for someone that I'm mainly gonna be playing as a CDM, because a player that can attack and defend as well as he can is is awesome. I really like that. It registered my second man press when I touched the ball of Fabinho. <laughs> That's funny. Still did well there in the center back position.
Oh, he did well to switch there with Ruben Dias. Well done, Fabinho. The chest, good stuff. Ooh, the physical. Take a cheeky little trigger. Clear it out. Beautiful. Bernardo Silva is so good, man. Card is just awesome. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Fabinho card. So guys, this card we are going to be making a comparison with when it comes to other players uh, that play in the Premier League that might give you some Brazilian links. I think it's going to be mainly him and what, like a Casemiro? Guys, listen, this card with a Shadow Kamish style, I was trying him out in the center back position. I do feel like you can play him there, but I preferred him way more as my medium high work rated CDM center mid that's more defensive oriented. That's how I liked him personally, because a card like this can attack and defend. People are always going to prefer players like the Bellingham card, the Paqueta card, uh, you know, even Fofana because of the high, high work rates and stuff. But the medium high, the whole purpose of this card is for him to be as good as possible defensively. And with the shadow chemistry style, guys, I feel like he currently plays really well in the game, right? Because he has 99 acceleration with 97 for sprint speed, considering the fact that he's very strong, right? It's a player that has a unique body type that's like pretty big. When he goes into challenges, it's like he has his own animations, right? And it's because of the fact that he has that unique body type and because of the fact that he, I feel like the dives of the tackles trait, you know, like kind of uh, does some really nice AI stuff for him. That's the stuff that you have to take a look at the most, right? The track back is crazy on this car with a medium high work rate. The fact that he can shoot as a CDM is a plus because you don't often shoot with the guys anyways. But if you do, it'd be great to have if you have, if you actually get into those opportunities. The passing for a midfielder is phenomenal too. Really liked working with that when it came to his weak foot, his strong foot. Uh, the dribbling, really important that they improved it as much as they did on this card to be played in that uh, midfield position. And then the fact that he already has base card stats for physical is pretty awesome too. So again, I like what they're doing with the, the showdown cards nowadays because they're essentially upgrading them to a point where even if they don't get upgraded, they're still going to be sick in the meta of the game, right? So this card I will compare to because we need to see if there are players that play like this card for what you're looking for in this league, right? So uh, we're going to look for the midfielders here. Okay, so let's see. So Deli Alley was a great SPC, really liked him. You guys probably should have done that. I even tweeted it out and everything, like, don't forget to do the SPC. Um, because you know, tall player, weak foot, you know, he has all this stuff, right? Um Jordan Henderson is decent, but he's high, high, you know, so that's a little bit different there as well. He's decent though. Um Fernandinho was an SPC at the time, and Golo Conte. I don't know, man. I feel like N'Golo Conte and Alon are going to be the main ones because it depends on what you're looking for, right? Because with Alon, it's a player who feels more agile but may not be as strong or may not have the height to intercept certain opportunities and all that kind of stuff, right? Because that's what that's the sacrifice you make for both of the defensive players. It's either you want more agility or you want more physical presence, right? So it just depends on the person. So comparing that, those two is a little bit weird because they're two different types of players in regards to what the person wants. But I feel like it's just Conte, right? Declan Rice is the other one for 365k for the this is the foot birthday one. This one isn't this one cheaper? Ah, uh, it's because of the skill moves, isn't it? Oh, this was the SBC at the time. No, that was the SBC. I'm pretty sure he was an SBC at the time, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, the season doesn't have the pace compared to Fabinho. Fabinho, dude, Fabinho, like, guys, right now, listen, the card has this for pace while being physical. You know what I'm saying? So the SBC is up there in price, guys, but I, I think he's really good for the links that you have to work with as a medium high work rated player, in my opinion, okay, compared to the other cards in this league. The only other players you can genuinely compare to is some high, high work rated players, but it depends on if you want that high, high. Um, but it's mainly going to be players to like Conte and Alon. But 
they're shorter, more agile players, whereas this one is more physical that has pace and dribbling sides. So I genuinely don't mind them putting this SBC at this price range because he's good now, but if Liverpool ends up winning, look at this card on an anchor chemistry style with base card stats improved everywhere. It's an incredible CDM. So I get the price range, just like the Rodrigo card. He needs that upgrade to be really special, like a really special card. Like, you know, you use the players like I come with Patch of Year. That card's really, really nice even nowadays, right? But but I still think the card plays really well in that midfield setup. Like that just right now, I think he's pretty solid. I, I did like him more as a CDM than a center back, you know, especially when you have especially when you have these two apps, these two absolute monsters and Veron and Ruben Diaz. You know what I'm saying? These two. Whoo. Different breed. By the way, is this card like you guys know? I, I did the review for him. This card's full metal. Like I don't have to tell you. Okay, this card's just. Oh. This uh, like if you're if you're like really looking into full meta, you use cards like this in the midfield defense. Like you know, what I'm saying this guy's amazing. But um, yeah, if that's what you're looking for in regards to links and stuff, guys, that's the type of player that you get. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.